Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am here in my new work area. And today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna follow a Bob Ross tutorial and I'm gonna try to do it on a Tumblr. So Bob Ross is an icon, honestly. He is the host of The Joy of Painting. I'm sure you've all heard of him. If you haven't, please go look him up on his YouTube channel. It's got every, every episode of that show. He's so relaxing, he's so upbeat and positive, and a ton of people follow his tutorials and created some really nice paintings. While I do consider myself an artist, I don't really consider myself a painter. Like, I don't think I'm talented there. So I'm not expecting that this goes well. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really fun to try and follow one of his tutorials and paint one of his pictures. This is the picture I'm gonna try to recreate on a cup. And this is the cup I'm gonna be using. It's a 30 ounce traditional from Craft Haven. So in doing this on a cup, I'm already kind of setting myself up for not the best results. This cup isn't straight, it's thick, but it's not straight. So that is gonna be kind of a downfall and it's curved. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make the image seamless around the entire cup, which will be another challenge. One other thing too is that Bob uses oil paints on a canvas and so he's got some liquid white he uses to blend colors out. I'm gonna be using acrylic paints on stainless steel. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I am hoping that you guys will take part in this challenge to following a Bob Ross tutorial on a Tumblr. If you do, use the hashtag and let's have some fun. I'm, again, not expecting this to go well. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Okay, so I've got a few different options here. I've got my little paint palettes that I always use. I have this butter spreader knife thing that I'm gonna use for my mountains and whatever else. Bob loves to use his knife, so this is my little tumbler knife. <laughs> I've got a ton of different brushes. These are just a few I'm going to use. He likes to use these really big kind of stiff brushes with these type of bristles. So I've got those in a few different sizes. And then I've got a few other ones just in case. And I have a lot of different paint options. Okay, here we started. go. Let's, Today I'm going to start out let's with a paint touch Bob. Of just a touch. It's very strong, very strong. I'm gonna reach up here and grab a touch of the midnight black and put in there. Oh, black. black ah. blue. Or blue and black. Just tap it into the bristles. Okay, let's go right up here. Okay. Let's uh, just build a happy little sky. And I'm just gonna make little X's, little crisscross strokes, and work all the way across the canvas. Okay. Just keep going all the way across. And you can add a little more color as you need it. Now, by starting at the top, working all the way across and then working downward. Your color will mix with the liquid white. And oh, I don't have liquid white. Darker on the top and bottom. That helps create that illusion of distance in your painting. Yeah, we can just blend it. Okay. Like so, like so. Like so. Uh, now then, tell you what, while we have this old dirty brush going, I'm gonna go right back into my blue. Back into the blue. Is actually, and I feel like I should take some white and put it just on here so that I can have some, maybe a little bit of movement. He uses a liquid white. I'm gonna use just regular white. I don't know. Let's try. I'll just bring it down to about the half, just so we have got it here. Just to help me blend maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna catch up here. Go here, and I'm gonna... Oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to use his little crisscrosses. I feel like I need more because this is not oil. I feel like I got my brush so saturated there though. Okay, oh boy. I'm doing the little crisscross that you recommended, Bob. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to do the little horizontal to get rid of the brush strokes. Uh, even though it's not doing that. Maybe I take a little bit of white. Okay, I'm going to blend with white. That's working, I think. This was make it a little bit more liquidy. He said go really light, so that's what I'm doing. I'm holding my brush like way out here so I can not put a lot of pressure. Okay, that's not horrible. Let's continue. Get out of here, bug. Get out of here. Okay. 
And let's have some water in this painting. I love to paint water. Oh, okay, water. water is better. Same blue. Okay, I'm gonna put some white on the bottom here for our water. And I'm gonna have to act like there's two edges because this is a round cup. So we'll just say that one's the center and then the edges meet and they get dark. Let's see, this is probably gonna be a thick little boy. So oh, fantastic. And it's one of the easiest things to do in this technique. So start from the outside and pull inward. Start at the bottom and work up. That way, automatically, once again, it gets lighter and lighter toward the horizon. By pulling from the outside in, you don't have any strong edges here that you have to blend out. It's very soft, very soft, and it works much better. A little more of the color on the brush, and we'll do the other side. Pull from the outside in. And I want to leave a little area open here. Okay, 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 we're doing it, we're, we're doing it, okay. Here we go, there's my little horizon, okay, awesome. Water. Make your painting pretty when it's done. There. See, and that easy, and then very lightly. Just grazing the canvas, just bring it all together. And your light area still remains in there. And as we work... Okay, that's good, right? Yeah, we're, we're not doing bad. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of white and then blend it here, maybe more white. I don't know. Okay, I'm blending that out that way so I can get this really done. And then I'm gonna blend water a little bit because he goes all the way across like that a little bit. He, oh, ooh, okay. Not bad, right? Not bad. We're not doing horribly. Let's build a happy little cloud today. Now we're going to build some clouds. Going to use, we'll use a one inch brush. You could do it with a fan brush or two inch. I'll just use a one inch. Get a touch of bright red, just a touch. Pull quite a bit of color into the brush. Okay, let's go up here. Okay. I don't want it to be that pink. More white. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, wait, 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 Bob. Hold on, Bob. I'm not ready yet. This is a disaster. I'm really trying my best. Okay, we've got some uh, white and pink. I took too much red. Absolutely took too much red. Okay, but we're going to have pink clouds. That's fine with me. Up here in the sky, a happy little cloud. Just kind of dibbling. Oh, I've got too much paint on my brush. Ah. Keep the brush moving. Keep the brush moving. Tight little circular strokes. And you have to make big decisions here. Where does your cloud live? If he lives right there, then just drop him in. Okay, and maybe he's got a friend. There's his friend. Lives right there. Maybe this is a lady friend. Oh, a lady friend. There. See how easy that is? You can do it. You okay. can do it. Okay, okay, happy clouds, happy cloud. That's not bad, right? Happy clouds, okay. Now with a clean, dry brush, be sure your okay, brush is Okay, okay, I need a brush, hold on. Couldn't. Okay, I'm gonna get a little white because. Now I'm just gonna blend the, the base of these clouds out. Little tiny circles, tiny little circles. There um, you go. See? Yeah, sure. Just blend the base out and then very lightly lift it up, lift it up. Isn't that a super nice, easy way to make a beautiful little cloud? Look at there. See, just very loose, fluffy. And you can make a happy little cloud. Let's build a mountain in this one. Oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Oh, those clouds oh, look good. Okay, wait, 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 okay. I'm blending this cloud more with some white to make it look more like a cloud. And then I'll just blend it out that way. Yes. Do those look like clouds? I think they look like clouds. Okay, cool. Now it's time for a mountain. Wonderful. Okay, he's taking his knife and blending with his knife. I don't have a knife, but I have this. Okay, I know he's taking black. Black, brown, crimson. Looking for a good dark color. Cut us off a little roll of paint. Hold on, Bob. Right okay, we're gonna line. cut ourselves a roll of paint. Uh, Decide okay. where your mountain oh, is. Oh, jeez. Maybe in your world it lives right here. Push very firmly, and all you're all you're worried about is the outside edge here. You could really care less what's going on inside this mountain. See? That's all you're looking for. And this knife can do some of the most fantastic things imaginable, but it's like everything else. You have to make friends with it. Devote a little time to practice. I wish you could see my face right now. All the excess paint. <laughs> you can probably hear how hard I'm scraping. Just really get in there and, and scrape it out. You're not going to hurt the canvas. I hurt this cup. You're not going to hurt it. It's tough. It's oh. really tough. Oh. Now we'll okay. take the large okay, okay, brush. Okay. okay, hold on. It's just to go this way right here, maybe. I want a taller mountain. That kind of looks cool. Okay. I'm going to pull all my color out. Okay, okay, we've got a mountain. And I want to pull that color. 
Because this canvas is wet, you can move the color and we blend it out. If you can see the entire mountain, it's always more distinct at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, okay. Does that look like a mountain? Let's put some snow on the mountain. So I'm gonna use white today. I'm gonna put a touch of the, just a touch of the bright red in there. Okay, let me just take a little bit of this maybe. Quick. We need that little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife, okay? Now then, take the point of the knife, put it right up here on the point of your mountain. No pressure, no pressure. Well. No pressure, just let it float. Just let it float. And you want the paint to break, and by break, it's not, but we're holes, gonna just right keep doing it. it. Hmm? 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 So, be sure your paint is good and firm. It should be very dry. And then it'll do this. It won't do that, okay. Okay, just no pressure it. though, absolutely no pressure. Ooh. When I was teaching my son Steve okay. to paint, I used to tell him just to pretend he was a whisper floating across the mountain. A little bit right there. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna make a little, little mountain guy there. Um, what am I doing? Uh, let's just do another little guy there too. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this again. Bob never cleans his knife. I don't know how he doesn't ever clean his knife. Okay, but then he took this little blue. Take that that Prussian blue boy, it's strong. One tube in the ocean would oh, change the color. Took a little. I took a lot, and then some of this. Pull it out very flat. Once again, cut across oh, and get our little roll. Okay, Notice here that yeah, all the angles are white. going basically in the same direction, all the highlight angles. Now that okay. when we start putting the shadows on, they'll go in the opposing or opposite angle. See? And that makes, that makes those highlights just pop out. Now, if you want this little peak to be in the background, put that shadow in first. Then when you come here, bring this one distinctly through, and that easy. <laughs> that easy, you pushed a mountain back. That easy? What? Told you you had a lot of power here. We'll put a little touch right in there. <gasps> I did it. I did Just a little break. Right there, okay, right. Just okay, let okay. That paint break. It's a very delicate touch. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to go back and do my other side because I figured it out. This, and I want to go this. Because I want it to break. I mean, it kind of looks like a mountain, right? A little? Uh, okay. We're going to take a brush now, he said. Okay, Very and gently. he's going to take following his dry brush. And... Always following those angles. Just tap. Be sure your brush is clean and dry. Over here, follow these angles. And same thing, lift upward. But just on the base. Let me show you a little trick. Maybe. Maybe you want to show another range of mountains right in front here. No, I don't. Watch here. Watch here. Watch here. Let's start off and put a little highlight on there. Who knows? Maybe in your world, maybe there's a bump. There's right there. All you have oh, to do why did I do that? make a decision and drop it in. Because you can do anything on this canvas. Anything that you want to do. But now we need a shadow. Watch right here. See, this makes no sense. Bob, I'm worried this makes no here. sense anyway. Put a happy little shadow right in there. See? Then, bloop. Just jumps right up here. All right. Okay. There we go. That's uh, not horrible. Maybe I don't know. Clean dry brush. Okay, and then I come back here, right? This little mountain. But see how you can put another mountain right in front of that one? That easy. I don't know about that, Bob. That easy. I told you you had power. Okay. Okay. Let's have some fun. Okay. We'll just That's keep not that horrible. Same mountain color we, here we got go. here. That was oh, black. it's a little drier now. Prussian blue. And I'll add a little touch of sap green to it. Okay. Oh, I took added a lot just of sap green. Just a little bit of sap green. Let's go right, right down at the base of this mountain. And maybe down in here, there's some little trees and bushes that live right down in here. Just push, bend the brush upward, push it. That makes all those little things just happen that easy. It's not though, hold on, hold on. Let's make it wet. Let's watch how easy. Just grab that. Okay, 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 okay. Gonna pull it down, pull it down. The paint will move. Ah, brushes can move my brush is across. That easy. Huh? Pull straight down and it will lightly huh? cross just huh? enough to distort it. Okay. Not horrible, not horrible. That okay, wait, 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 he did it on the whole thing. Okay, hold on, here we go. He put them all together. Yes, okay, so now it's a little wet here. Take my brush, just pull down like he did, and then go 
Now let's put some highlights on there. This too distorted a little. Just a okay, touch. right? So Not horrible. From far away, it kind of looks good. Okay, he's got yellow green. and green. Oh boy, and a lot of white. Let's just come right in here. Cause that's like a lime green color. Okay, we'll throw some beautiful little highlights on these, and we'll sort of vary the colors. And I'll hit a little ochre, a little Indian yellow here and there. Maybe even a little touch of bright red. See, now while you have this on the brush, we can reflect some of it right down into the water. Okay. Shoot, we're having so much fun with reflections here. Fine. Textures will look like his. It's another little bush. Let him oh, reflect he's right into the water. Okay, let's see. Maybe a little right less. Into the water. Okay, this one right here. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty one. I don't know. See, now you can go in and push the brush upward. Just see there? Isn't that super? And just make all kinds of happy okay. little things. Happy. A little bit right down in there. Oh, not bad. We're not doing bad. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Two hairs and some air again, very lightly. Just caress it. Make love to it. Straight down, straight down. And oh very boy, we're getting creative here now, Bob. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it down. Huh? To that. Huh? Add a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then he's gonna cut his knife. Dark sea. Okay, wait, what did he do? He took some white, brown. Okay. I probably should have gotten a palette like he has, but I just got these little plastic ones from Amazon. Okay, pull it out very flat. I'm just going to cut a piece like that. Sure. Okay. Isn't that easy? You can put a little ripple here and there if you want it. That's sort of up to you. Ah! Now keep these water lines and ripples basically straight. If they're not, if they're not straight, your water will look like it's going to run right out of the, right out of your painting on the floor. And I don't know. Get the floor wet. We don't want that to happen. Okay, he's going to take. Going right back to the one what's he taking? Brush, dark. He's going to make a dark. Dark color. Very dark color. Pull the brush. Okay, this color. A lot of paint. Before. Okay. Give it a wiggle. A lot of paint. Okay, I need we're more paint to, here. We're trying to make a sharp chisel edge. See how sharp that brush is? Takes okay, a lot there's of paint my point here. To hold it together. Maybe there lives in our world right here a happy little evergreen tree. And we start off by just making a line, then just using the corner okay, of the brush. The corner. See there? Oh, 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 oh. Anything. There. Okay. Between each tree, bring it back to a nice sharp chisel edge. Very sharp. That's a tree! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Um, no, I like him by himself. He's gonna use more of the brush. But the angle that you hold the brush is basically the same through the entire tree. It's just that you're adding more and more pressure so it pushes, bends the brush. Okay, I'll tell you what. i tell you what. Let's have one more right there. Okay, now. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's a tree! Something lives. Little bushes and stuff live right out here. Just push them in. Just push. Push the brush upward. Now, one thing you want to avoid, don't let the brush slide. If the brush slides... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I was in my tree land. You're going to get what did that he kind do? Of effect. Don't let it slide. Push it. Bend it. Okay, okay I'm pushing the brush upward. I just covered up all my bushes. He's going way into the water. I got to my brush slid. Ah. Isn't that the nicest way you've ever seen to make reflections? Tell you what, we don't want this other side to get left out while I have the old brush dirty. Might as well do another tree Just right there. Oh, maybe I should make a little bit the of brush this. The same way, bring it to a nice land first. Range. There's no mountains over here, so. Just Hold on, Bob. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue here. I'm gonna make some more little bushes. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna pull it down. I'm going across a little. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I'm going to take my dark color, my green, my blue, make a point, and I'm going to make another tree right here. After taking a class and a couple of years of practice. And then I'm going to take that corner. I can't believe I'm painting a tree right now. And it's working. I've been going into painting full time. And now they're happier. Painting makes you happy. <gasps> cool. Okay, 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 okay. I'm doing good, I think. Nice of a guy was Bob Ross. That doesn't look like a tree, but it's okay. Okay, but that's just kind of dark, I guess. Things wherever you want them. Decide where, 
for reflection and, and land meat here and grab it and pull straight down. Okay, reflection. So taking some white, mixing it in with that dark. Crooked. And then he just pulls it down. Okay, then lightly go across. The paint is drying Over too here. quickly. Make the same decision. Where do you want this one to be? Right there. Right there. Right there. And pull him down. Anything you don't like, you just turn it into reflections. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. We don't make mistakes. Shoot, we have happy accidents. Pull it down, okay, as flat as I down can get this it. way like that. Yes. Again, we have that small little roll of paint. Okay. Little roll of Let's paint right here. This whole evergreen tree. We'll just put the indication here in there. Little trunk. I there. don't like that. Like so. Same thing on the other side. Just I don't like that. I ruined it. Let's just begin popping in some little highlights on these trees. Okay, highlights on the trees. Wait, now think yellow. About the individual yellow. yellows that live in this tree. Don't just throw these on at random. I know sometimes it looks that way, but sort of think, think like a tree. And we can begin reflecting this right into the water. But work in layers, doing the, the bush or the tree that's the farthest away and coming forward. See how you can create the illusion of distance and depth? There's another one. Mm, what's a sparkler there? Pretty little devil. Like him. I like yeah. how he talks about the trees. These little things are real to me. I like that, Bob. Ooh, look, they look like bushes. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. I'm feeling good. This is great. Okay, there. okay, okay. Give a touch of the bright red and maybe. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh red. Pretty okay, okay. That's a good it. idea, Bob. That's too right red. Let's there. try. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. One. Once again, though, we're layering these, so it, it creates that illusion of distance. I don't know if I'm doing that, but maybe. And we can reflect some of that right into the water. Okay, reflect into the water. How easy it is to make some of the most striking reflections. People love these little reflections. Now pull straight down, very light, very, very light. I mean, just, ooh, one oh, hair is a hair. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We need oh some gosh. land for all this to settle. Don't want to fall over in the water and make a big splash. Don't want your tree to drown. Oh. You just made friends with him. Land, okay. Okay, right. land. Brown? Brown. Yeah, look, at look at that. Oh, he did a lot of it. Okay, wait. See there? Make it look like rocks and stones and all kinds of little things. That easy. But angles are very important. And we drop in just some little water lines under here. Just Maybe like I'll use like this. We'll take this whole brush. I'm just going to put a few highlights. Old clock on the wall tells me it's about time. Okay, highlights. Now I'm going to use my knife, but I'm going to clean it first. What is that? Uh, uh, happy accident. It's just a happy accident. There we go. It's just a bush. And I'll see you next time. I feel like I lost it on the land here. Oh my God, this is it? That's it? Wait, hold on. I'm not ready for it to be done. What about all this? Uh, Bob is done, but I am not. I need to fix a few of these little thingies here. I want to add some more blue to the water. And I think that he would be okay with that. Maybe you listen to Bob Ross for long enough, you kind of start to talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him, and talk like him. Okay, does that look? That's actually not half bad. The only thing I want to fix is this water down here. So I'm gonna go here and just add a little bit of this. Let me get a little bit more watery. Okay, I feel like this is messy. Messy in like not a happy accident kind of Bob Ross way, you know? But like a, I need to fix that kind of way. Okay, I think I'm done. This is what we've got so far. I'm actually not mad about it. So I'm gonna let this dry for probably a few hours because I'm nervous, I don't wanna ruin it. And then I'm gonna seal it with epoxy, put my little decal on and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all done. Oh my gosh. I'm really actually pleasantly surprised by how this turned out. I really like how this challenge turned out. I did not have high expectations, but this was so much fun. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with, which episode of The Joy of Painting you guys choose to follow. Please be sure to use the hashtag Bob Ross Cup Challenge. Tag us at Made by Manny and Mal. I am so excited to see what you guys do. By the way, these decals that I put on my cup are both available for free in my Facebook group. The link for that is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye.